C-Lab is the laboratory arm of C-Care. C-Care is the umbrella company with four brands, Clinic Darni, Welkin Hospital, C-Care Clinic and C-Lab. C-Lab is an ISO accredited lab, ISO 15189, which is specifically for medical laboratories. We have the best panel of pathologists as consultants. Also, we have more than 35 technologists who are qualified from very reputed universities. At C-Lab, we started off conducting routine tests uh, to support the two hospitals. However, over the years, we have reinvented ourselves and now more than 99% of the tests are done in-house. Also, we do quite a few specialized tests, some of which we are the first in the Indian Ocean. One of the values of C-Care is progressive and at C-Lab we totally embrace this value. We believe in the power of innovation and new technology and we have been constantly in innovating and investing in new technology to make new tests available for the Mauritian population. A good example of this was during the COVID-19 pandemic. We rose up to the challenge and set up a biosafety level 2 lab in record time to conduct RT-PCR test for COVID. We are the first private lab to be authorized by the Ministry of Health to do these tests. And I can proudly say that today we have crossed more than 35,000 PCR tests for COVID. At Seacare, our mission is patient first. We are constantly striving to ensure fast and accurate diagnostic tests are available to our patients. The COVID-19 pandemic has taught us all many things, but one of the takeaway for us was to make sure we are more self-reliant. At Sila, we decided to go for the best technology so that we do not compromise on quality. Choosing the correct equipment was a crucial decision so that we could provide the best diagnosis and result to our doctors and patients. To offer the best possible genetic and cancer diagnostic tests in Mauritius, Silab invested in four machines, namely the Ventana Irish Sustainer, the Digital Scanner, the Idila Digital PCR Machine, and the Next Generation Sequencer. These four machines, along with several ancillary equipments, is what comprises our molecular lab unit. For the Irish Sustainer and Digital Scanner, we decided to go for the US-based company, Roche Diagnostic, who is the leader and innovator of tissue-based diagnostic solutions for cancer patients worldwide. The Ventana Eye Sustainer highlights the proteins and antigens in cancerous cells so that the best cancer treatment can be chosen by your doctor. On the other hand, the digital scanner will allow worldwide pathologists to visualize cancer cell images for a second opinion. The next generation sequencer, NGS, will be used for prenatal testing and inherited cancer tests. At Silla, which is the best equipment from Tamar Fisher Scientific, who is the world leader in NGS technology. NGS decodes our DNA and allows us to know our genetic makeup. It also shows errors or mutations in our DNA which can cause diseases and also how we may respond to the best medicines or therapies. C-Lab is the first private laboratory to perform specialized molecular tests in Mauritius. Those molecular tests like IH systems, digital PCR cancer tests, inherited cancer and NIPT tests were previously being outsourced to other reputed international labs. By doing these tests in Mauritius, the time to get the results will be considerably reduced and hence help for a better and faster prognosis. As you are aware, when it comes to cancer and other genetic conditions, the sooner the treatment starts, the better is the chance of recovery and survival. Breast cancer is the most common cancer in Mauritius, with more than 600 new cancer cases diagnosed every year. It remains, unfortunately, the most common cause of cancer-related deaths in Mauritius. This trend is progressing at an alarming rate, like other developed countries in the world, due to our aging population and unhealthy lifestyle, among other factors. About 1 in 10 women will be diagnosed with breast cancer in their lifetime. 10% of these cancers are hereditary in nature. 
there are at least a dozen genes involved in hereditary breast cancer. The most common being BRCA1 and BRCA2. Mutations in these genes eventually trigger breast cancer at an earlier age. Detecting these specific problems in such genes have a profound implication on the type of suitable treatment for breast cancer patients. For example, a breast cancer patient with BRCA gene mutation will normally be advised to undergo mastectomy with or without reconstruction. Moreover, this information is crucial for other close family members because their risk of developing cancer also increases. The most famous example I can think of is that of the actress Angelina Jolie, who, uh, whose mother was diagnosed with ovarian cancer and underwent genetic testing. The mother was diagnosed with BRCA gene mutation and the actress eventually decided to undergo the same gene testing. She also was found to have the same problem that the mother had and after discussion with genetic counselors and uh, medical geneticists, she must have been told that the risk of developing breast cancer increases considerably. Instead of 10%, her risk would be 45 to 85%. So eventually she took the decision to undergo bilateral mastectomy and bilateral reconstruction before the cancer develops. Currently there are about 50 women diagnosed with hereditary breast cancer in Mauritius every year. Several international bodies have advised genetic testing for young breast cancer patients and women with high-risk family history. Le cancer à l'île Maurice a pris une ampleur significative ces dix dernières années et c'est pour ça que la clinique Darnay et Welkin, ils ont investi dans une nouvelle machine qui s'appelle le séquençage de nouvelle génération afin de détecter les nouvelles mutations qui sont responsables de ces cancers. En effet, à l'île Maurice, nous avons plus ou moins 1200 à 1300 nouveaux cas de cancer qui viennent se rajouter aux 1200 à 1300 nouveaux cas de l'année dernière et bon nombre de patients qui reçoivent la chimiothérapie traditionnelle, euh, nous voyons il y a une certaine résistance dans le traitement. C'est pour cela que des analyses de nouvelle génération qui vont nous permettre de connaître les mutations d'ADN qui sont responsables de leur cancer et ce qui va nous aider dans le choix des nouveaux médicaments. Donc c'est un processus qu'on appelle la médecine de précision et c'est grâce à des machines comme le NGS, Next Generation Sequencing Machine, qui nous permettra d'avoir donc les réponses à ces questions. En effet, SILAB qui a donc investi dans cette nouvelle machine, va nous permettre, nous euh, les cancérologues, d'avoir des résultats bien plus rapides, car auparavant on devait envoyer à l'étranger les analyses plus poussées pour connaître les diagnostics donc, euh, du pourquoi tel type de cancer s'est développé chez le patient. J'invite donc euh, les patients qui ont eu malheureusement un cancer et qui souhaitent connaître les anomalies génétiques qui sont à l'origine de leur cancer, de pouvoir bénéficier de cette analyse car il se peut qu'il y ait de nouveaux médicaments qui leur sont destinés grâce à ces analyses plus poussées donc de la médecine de précision. What is exactly NIPT? NIPT is non-invasive prenatal test. That means we are going to do tests which doesn't cause any hurt to the patient. We, it's non-invasive. We just take out blood and we do it in patients who are pregnant. That's why it's called prenatal test. The advantage of these tests is specially used these days in Mauritius. As you know, most of our patients nowadays are elderly. That means more than 35 years of age, where the patient carries a higher risk of the babies having certain trisomies. When we do these non-invasive prenatal tests, that is the NIPT, we can diagnose through the blood samples whether the baby is going to suffer from any other trisomies. The common trisomies, you know, 13, 18, 21, 16 also can be diagnosed with these tests. So this helps us clinicians to know beforehand whether 
the baby, the embryo, is going to be to have a normal growth or whether the baby is going to have certain anomalies or whether the baby can be viable after a certain time. It helps us a lot in our diagnosis. It also gives a lot of comfort to the parents also, the husband and the wife, when they know the results, you know. It's always good nowadays in our era to know beforehand what are the possibilities and probabilities of having a normal baby or the possibilities and probabilities of unfortunately having a baby which is suffering from a certain anomaly so that we can take certain decisions. The second thing is other cancers, you know, cancers like ovarian cancer is very common in our country. Nowadays we have certain tumor markers which help the doctors to diagnose also after treatment to see whether the treatment is working with the, the uh, cancer of the ovary. This is very important for all of you to realize that in the era of 2021 and forward, we want to have a better care to our fetus, to our babies, and also to ourselves. J'ai accompagné ma maman qui a eu deux cancers, un premier à l'âge de 44 ans malgré les mammographies, etc. Et dix ans après, elle a fait une rechute. Ce qui est le plus difficile dans l'accompagnement du cancer, c'est le, les traitements. C'est la chimio, c'est le fait de la voir perdre ses cheveux, ses soissis, de ne plus avoir envie de manger, donc de s'amaigrir, de ne plus avoir trop le moral. Ça, ça a été difficile pour nous, la famille qui l'avons entourée. C'est pour ça que je pense que c'est très important de faire un dépistage le plus tôt possible. Yeah, ever since there has been the unraveling of the human genome, there has been a sea change in how we treat and diagnose diseases. Also, uh, as we all know that cancer is an evolving disease and uh, cancer cells undergo numerous uh, mutations in the lifetime of the cancer. So when that, uh, to, to diagnose these mutations, and uh, we can do these tests by, geni by some genetic testing like next, genome, next generation sequencing. Now, uh, the, the advantage of doing this is that there are certain mutations against which nowadays certain drugs are available. So, you know, we can, uh, those mutations can be targeted and the patients can usually live a longer life. So, and, as, and also in, uh, we have introduced uh, the system of uh, digital pathology. That is by, uh, you know, these slides can be scanned and we can refer the slides to anybody anybody abroad and uh, especially to specialists and this will help the patients to get a second opinion without having to travel far. <laughs> <laughs>